Deputy Hilligar Notch, and she was on to me last night in relation to the Parkmore entrance. And she has new, some news coming in about an extension uh, which will should alleviate the problems going in there. And she joins me on line one. Deputy Notch, good morning to you. Good morning, Keith. Thanks for joining us uh, today. Now, you were on to me last night about this, uh, and you feel that the uh, works we're going to discuss now will help traffic flow there. Yes, this is part of, it's one of a number of short and medium term measures. It's uh, Plans have gone to tender for the extension of the N6 right turn lane approaching Parkmore. So as you're coming from the Ormore direction or coming off the motorway turning right there towards Parkmore, that lane, there's already a right turning lane there, but it's been extended to increase the road capacity. Um, so the City Council formalised and published a tender notice on Friday. So they're seeking expressions of interest um, for the next two weeks. So hopefully work can begin on that um, next month. Um, again, it's one of a number of measures. Um, other measures that were, were we looked at and being worked on are bus priority measures at the Duishka ju- Junction, uh, a park and ride facility coming off the motorway, um, and I know work is uh, being under is underway as well in relation to widening of the Park More West um, Road. That's as you come out of the industrial estate itself, turning left there and looking at a future bus lane and cycle lane. Um, so this is welcome news, and this is good. That it's taking place as well in advance of uh, children going back to school in September um, and this is on foot of Minister Simon Coveney who was Minister of Housing and Local Government at the time who met with business leaders in Parkmore back in March and he had three government departments working <laughs> with the City Council to try and lay out a number of measures medium and long term measures in relation to Parkmore and set out time frames and timelines so this is um, one of them that has taken place over the next few weeks. Okay so take me through this then. Who is this going to affect most best? Is going so to figure people it. coming off the motorway at yeah. the moment, you have the two um, right turning are, lanes. Yeah, well, it's one right turning lane turning towards Parkmore. Yeah. So what they're doing is extending it back towards the cooler roundabout. Okay, so, so that, that problem that we identified a few weeks ago where there's two coming up and then people get into the right hand lane to turn around, that's going to go all the way back. Yeah, I don't think it's going right the way back, but they've done engineering um, works with regard to how far back it needs to go. So that will help, um, as I say, people coming from the Ornmore motorway direction. And also we'll have the Tungort bypass that will be reopened hopefully in September, October of this year. So that's also going to add to the amount of traffic coming off the motorway. So this, again, is just one measure. It's not going to alleviate everything. It's one part of a suite of measures. We need to be looking at um, public transport, park and ride measures as well. Um, oh, should, yeah, but should there not be, because of what you're doing there, suggesting is, is being done there, should there not be two right turn lanes going into Parkmore coming off the motorway there? Well, this is based on the best engineering solutions, and I'm not an engineer, but I know Neither that. Neither am um, I. Um, but Minister Coveney came down in March and met with the business leaders and following that meeting, um, his own department was working with the Department of Transport, the Department of Jobs and Enterprise, um, working with the City Council and the IDA looking at the best um, transport engineering solutions. But public transport will be a huge part of this and park and ride facilities and that was clearly outlined um, when public representatives met with the Council as well. And also a Galway delivery team has since been established. That has again on request of uh, Minister Coveney where the City and County Council are being asked to work together with senior officials in the Department of Housing and Local Government to look at critical infrastructural pro- uh, projects in Galway including Parkmore, the regeneration of the docks area and the development of Ardall and that's the area around okay. the Galway Clinic for housing. So there's just there's a need for more joined up thinking with all the agencies working together and getting their plans in place um, and I think the Parkmore area is one example of where the, the targets and time frames are working very well at the moment and I think that gives people a sense that work is taking place and some of the longer term measures will rep- require compulsory purchase orders so they will take longer but when people see that yes targets are being met and time frames are being met I think it does instill um, confidence that um, solutions are being found. All right, um, Deputy Hildegard Nocton, thank you for joining us uh, today on the programme.